Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm demonstrating one of the guided edits called Multiphoto Text. And this allows us to use different photos of a person and to reflect them in the letters of their name. So I've already opened four photos of little Lucy in the editor. So I'm going to jump across straight away. And as you can see, those four photos from the organiser are now in the editor photo bin. So I'm going to go to the top menu and click on Guided. And under Fun Edits, we see this guided edit called Multiphoto Text. So clicking once will bring up the relevant dialogue. And what I'm going to do is, before I start, is to create a new document. I want to work on a plain white background. So I'm going to go to the top menu and click File, New, Blank File. And then I'm going to change this to pixels because I want the width and height to be 1080 pixels each because I'm going to upload these to Instagram. So just quickly changing the dimensions to 1080 it should be. 1080 wide and 1080... Keep making mistakes. 1080 width and height is correct and as it's going on the web resolution of 72 will be sufficient and background contents white. Okay so that brings up our blank white document and we're ready to start the guided edit. So I'm going to click on the type tool and I'm just going to type quickly and click the green check mark. We then have two options to fill and that fills the canvas, as you can see, but I'm going to choose Fit. That keeps it in the um, centre of the frame. And then we simply click the next button called Create Frames, and Elements automatically makes the placeholders for the photos and does the masking automatically. Because I've got these four photos already in the photo bin, I can just simply click the photo bin button and Elements will bring each photo in automatically and fill those, fill those placeholders. And there we have it. You may need to adjust each photo separately, so just double clicking on each letter brings up this slider and you can, you can increase the size or decrease the size and drag into position. I'm going to try and get Lucy's face... Um, positioned into the into the frame and I think that would do that's quite cute and click the green check mark same for the next one just double clicking and um, positioning the photo you may need to increase the the size okay that looks good click the green check mark um, this next photo, double click again, it's got her grandfather in the frame, so we'll try and move him out of the way so that we just have Lucy. And that will do. Click the green check mark. And again for the final letter, just enlarge it and drag it. And I think that's fine. So just clicking away removes all the bounding boxes and that looks pretty nice and um, if you want to you can change the background colour, I mean let, you could make it um, red for example, click OK. But I think I'm going to stick with white, I prefer white for the purpose of this exercise. You can also outline the letters by adding a stroke, just clicking on one of these buttons will make the letters stand out. And there we have it, that's um, using this guided edit called Multiphoto Text. And um, you can now go ahead and save this as a, a JPEG or um, if you want to preserve the layers, save it as a PSD file. That would enable you to take it into the expert mode and um, make alterations at a later date if you wanted to. So now I'm going to show you another example, this time starting with an actual photo rather than a blank document. And I already have this photo opened in the editor, in the Guided Edit Workspace. So just clicking on the Type tool to, to start with, and as you can see, the background photo is dimmed so that we can see the text on top when we start to apply it. So I'm going to click once and start typing Jack, J-A-C-K, 
click the green check mark and I'm going to use the fit button as I did previously and then click on the next step which is create frames and um, elements will start to create the placeholders for the um, for the four photos we're going to use and there they are at this time I'm going to get them from a folder on my computer because I haven't opened anything in the photo bin so clicking on computer I'm going to go to the downloads folder where I have some images that I want and I'm going to click on the first and shift click on the fourth and just click open and elements will apply those to the to the placeholders it may take a one or two two seconds to um, to complete you can see the spinning wheel and the the progress bar and there we have it all those four photographs of Jack suddenly appeared and we're going to have to double click on the first letter like we did previously and just start to move into a better position and click the green check mark the second one to me looks okay although the the central part of the left that goes right across his face so I'm going to just move it double clicking maybe just use a slider to enlarge it a little bit that looks better I think it's so uh, you can see both of his eyes and his his nose and then we go to the next one and double click and again just move the photo within so that we have his face on show I don't know whether this one needs changing we'll just double click and maybe enlarge this one so we don't have so much of the sofa background in view that looks better to me click the check mark and there we are we've got uh, our completed um, photo on the background original I'm going to show you a little trick now if we click next we can take this into expert mode and you'll see all the layers that Photoshop Elements have created automatically and um, each photo and placeholder and mask is in its own group. You can see the little group icons here and um, if you actually click on a group you can move the letters around quite randomly within the within the photo frame and um, you know make your own design you haven't got to stick to the original the original placeholders so you must use the group layer to move everything and I so say that's, that's quite random and I've done that quite quickly but it just gives you an idea of some extra options also if you click on this layer copy one you can see it's got a padlock if we double click we can unlock it and that enables us to change the default opacity which is 30 percent so i could bring back some of the original photo if i wanted to by just adjusting this opacity slider um, anyway that just gives you an idea you can adjust that to your own your own desires to create the effect you want and that completes the um that, that completes the um you actually move the um the, the the background layer around as well if you wanted to but there you are that's that, that's complete so we can now save that as a psd file to um preserve all the layers and then from the psd we can just simply save a jp i'm also going to show you how you can swap one of the photos if you wanted to so clicking on this um one which stands out from the rest again if you double click it brings up the slider and this little icon here if we click on it it enables you to replace the photo and choose another one from the folder so let's swap it with this one by clicking on the photo and choosing place and elements will change that image and there we have it again we can um, position it within the frame move it around increase the size of jack um i think that will do you get the idea um it's um quite versatile this tool for swapping photos and um well creating any composition that you like so that's the guided edit for today and i hope you like this multi-photo quick way of adding images within text and thanks for watching see you next time and bye for now